when should you do a mini cut? What's up everybody, I am John Jewett with J3 University and that is the question of the day, is when should you do this fat loss phase when you're in the off season? And this usually comes about when you're doing these extended off season phases, body fat's accumulating and you have to do something with it at some point, right? And it's like, when should you? And when's the best time to do that? And you could just keep growing forever, right? But at some point, you probably have to do a bodybuilding show if that's if you're a competitor and that's the plan. And we also don't wanna be prepping for 30 plus weeks to get on stage. There's lots of reasons why that would be less than ideal. This long prep, you might eventually run out of tools uh, physically and mentally to make it all the way there to stage. So I usually say in mind that we wanna be able to diet within 20 weeks for a competition. And this would be body fat ranges that are gonna vary person to person on how fast you know that you can diet for a show. But, but in general, this is probably somewhere 15 to 20% above someone's stage weight, a rough range. Some genetic freaks are probably less. Some people that really have to like, you know, have a higher body fat point to grow, that's gonna to be towards the higher end. So if you're, you know, know this 20% mark is a good prep position, if you're getting towards that upwards of like 30% of our stage weight, it's like, okay, you need to probably bring body fat back down so we're not having such a long prep that needs to occur. And so there's the timeline of prep of when we might be doing this fat loss phase. Also, there's health considerations too of body fat getting so high that health markers are getting deranged and also maybe suboptimal for partitioning. You might notice that as far as how much muscle you're occurring in that phase, there's an even greater increase of fat gain that goes along with it. This also could be compounded with the use of PEDs. High body fats and high body weights in general drive a lot of disease states that, that we see. If you're also sprinkling on top of it physique enhancing drugs, that can really, really accelerate the process. So high body fats, there's probably another reason around health markers why we wanna bring the, this back down. And so then we get into, well, if you're getting to a point when these body fats are high, when might you want to do it? Well, I can definitely tell you one of the times that would be less than ideal to do it. Uh, one being in the post-show period, within three months of the post-show period. If you've rapidly accumulated body fat, maybe you didn't handle your, your post-show eating, you ate way too many cookies and pizzas post-show, and you already got way past this 20, 25% stage weight mark. You're like, I, this is terrible, I have to diet off. I've, I've already had the body fat that, that I, um, I should be ending my off-season with. So it's like, well, what do you do in this situation? Should you immediately go back into a, a deficit since you've already come off this long prep? And the thing about a long prep is that you've also accumulated a lot of maladaptive changes along the way. Psychologically, there's a lot to recover from post-show. And also just being someone that was in a position where you had to feel like you had to kind of binge eat, going back into a restriction phase, likely could be more detrimental and just make this reoccurring cycle occur also. But we also want a time period where we can have full hormone restoration too. And so we do wanna hold that post-show period for a good chunk of time before you go into a fat loss phase for the off season. So in general, I would say, hey, I know body fat's accumulated quick this post show. We need to hold here at a maintenance level, get you stable psychologically, physically. Then afterwards, we can move into a fat loss phase. So that would kind of be that situation. Um, there would also be at the uh, beginning or the middle of a holding phase. And so when this position might be, and why it would be less than ideal is you've had this off-season phase where body weight's been increasing, of course you're adding some body fat. If you're an enhanced bodybuilder, PEDs are usually at a peak as well. So then right when we're gonna come back down to this holding phase, because we can't hold this phase forever because it's usually high stress from PED usage, high body weight, there's probably some psychological stress and fatigue there as well. At some point you have to bring this back down to holding. And if you moved right for, instead of a holding phase, right into a fat loss phase, you're moving from a phase of high stress right into another phase of high stress with fat loss. Um, 
also potentially, um, you could also maybe have some time period within this holding phase where maybe you're kind of solidifying or cementing the gains, right? There's maybe some idea behind this of a settling point and maybe holding a body weight high for a period of time and going straight into a fat loss phase. Uh, potentially, uh, maybe you might lose some more of that new tissue that you just accrued. Um, and then also, I would say maybe a little bit more of a less ideal time would be maybe a mid push phase. So you're increasing. Uh, food, increasing body weight, right in the middle of this off season phase, you're like, I got way too fat, I need a diet. It kind of makes you, usually with these people, are you just having a hard time sticking to the goal? That, oh, I feel a little bit of fat, I want to cut. Oh, I feel small, I want to bulk. It's like, let's really stick this process out. Also, I would say, if you're rapidly accumulating body fat that quickly early on your off season phase, you really need to reevaluate your whole plan. Maybe you're just gaining at a too fast rate, you need to dial it back and stick out this this phase a little bit longer um, one that would be also would be times of high stress in life so our best times to grow our best times to prep are gonna be when we can control all recovery variables the best that we can so your sleep's awesome your stress management's great you can really nail your diet this is the ideal time to grow also the ideal time for you to hold muscle mass when you're dieting so if you if those situations are just far from ideal like hey I'm having to work two jobs over these next two months I'm gonna be probably missing meals like you're not gonna be able to implement a fat loss phase of Efficiently go to a holding phase, do it afterwards when you have something more and a more efficient process then. So when should you do it? When is the best time? So ideally, you'd be doing your off season, you reach this point of peak mass. Um, you've escalated PDs. We have to do something because we can't continue in this phase forever. Maybe appetite's dropped off. Maybe health markers are starting to look questionable. Uh, maybe you're just accumulating, building a lot of uh, niggles and things that are occurring. So we move to a holding phase. And we're gonna hold this phase for four to eight weeks for as long as we need to, depending on what caused us to move into this phase to begin with. If it was coming from just, hey, body fat's too high, I have no room to go, we still go to the holding phase. Someone that's natural, they don't have to worry about as much of the PED stress accumulation at all. So this phase could probably be shorter for holding. It's also probably a deload. We wanna heal up injuries, niggles that are occurring. So we hold this phase, four to eight weeks. Then at that point, once we feel very stable, we would move into the fat loss phase from there. This also might be for someone that is enhanced at the beginning of the next push up phase. So to move into a fat loss phase, you probably want a little bit of enhancement present to help you hold on to tissue. You don't need a lot, because it's gonna be just probably slightly more than what a maintenance level would be. And so early on in the push-up phase, you're not using a lot just yet. It'd be easy to hold on to tissue. So you just have a little bit on the front end of the push-up phase, you diet off some body fat, then you transition straight back into your push-up phase. PEDs are continuing to escalate, food's escalating back up that's a great spot to do it at as well. Uh, the other point might be if you are very stable in the holding phase, you don't even need to escalate PDs, you just run, run the fat loss phase, keep PDs at the level you need to maintain, and then once it's complete, move up to your push-up phase from there and escalating PDs. The last situation could, could be done um, is that you're in a push-up phase and the timeline's the issue. Right, so you don't have time for when prep's starting that you need to hold and then move fat loss, then maybe a shorter hold phase, then into prep. You don't have all that time to work with, so maybe in your push-up phase, you're moving up. The very tail end of it, you're like, hey, body fat's getting too high. Maybe this is when you, when you could pull back on food a little, a little bit and, and diet some off, get to a better spot, hold that, then move into your contest prep from there. I would say that would be less than ideal though. The, the ideal situation, what I already laid out, would be the best way to do it and how I schedule your timeline. Now you might say, well John, why, why, why even do the fat loss phase to begin with? Why don't you just stay real lean? It's like, well not everybody does that. Uh, but also, I have tried to do that in the off season. I've done some off seasons where I've tried to stay very lean, make just lean gain progress and limit fat gain as much as I possibly can to make the prep easier, right? 
Well, what happened was that I really didn't change much stage weight wise. And I ended up leaving progress on the table. So I had weeks when body weight wouldn't increase at all. I'm like, oh, let me add a little bit of food. And that little bit of food I add still wasn't enough to drive body weight up. And I just adapt. And then I'm going weeks by where, where I'm not eating in a surplus. And I'm not making progress. And so I would err on the side of let's ensure that you are in a surplus. You have enough resources to add tissue. Some body fat's gonna come off but we know we can wash that body fat off, cut it, repeat the building process, or move into a prep. But this way we can kind of ensure that we're not leaving muscle gain progress on the table. So if you wanna learn more about how to set up your push-up phase into a fat loss phase, holding phase, J3 University, go check it out. I'll talk to you guys next time.